Good morning, guys, and welcome back to World of Tanks. It's Jager 260 e 2 And today's black market vehicle is the EBR 75 FL10, that tier 8 wheeled light tank, the first wheeled light tank to enter into World of Tanks. Interesting choice, um, just some history on it. Most of the high tier vehicles in World of Tanks used to be, or, well, they still are, paper vehicles or experimental. It wasn't until a couple of years ago that they started making Cold War vehicles a part of that. Um, all the way up to, I think, the T-62 on the Russian line. And so this is an AFV developed by the French in the 1960s. Well, development starts in the 1950s, and it enters military service in the 1960s to help them monitor and patrol their colonial holdings or ex-colonial holdings throughout North Africa and even Vietnam, what was then Indochina. So... Just some fun facts. That the only reason I'm giving you those fun facts is because, as you can see, I already have this item. I believe I also picked this one up during the tank festival in July. Um, I had one of you guys comment on that. I did a couple of videos covering it way back in July when it happened. So go back and watch this if you didn't know what that was. It was kind of a new event I had never heard of. And so I covered it and I was able to get a couple of really good premium tanks out of the way and the only reason I bring it up is per this guy's comment some of the tanks he wanted to see in the black market or he missed out on actually showed up for sale during that event so if you do miss out on anything if you're already lost in auction watch out they might do tank festival again and if they do some rare premium vehicles will show up there as well and of course it won't be an auction system like the black market you just purchase them just something to think about. There's no confirmation or news from Wargaming that they're going to do Tank Festival again. Um, but if they do, just keep your eyes open for it. Maybe you'll get some cool stuff. I don't know what this is selling for currently. Uh, if it's gold or if it's credits. If the gold count is fair, I would say around 11,000 is too high for this vehicle. Personally, that's worth a tier 8 heavy tank so i wouldn't pay that much for it but if it's eight thousand gold or less to buy i would buy it and any amount of credits makes this thing's worth it uh, i don't play light tanks at all if you watched my super hellcat video you know i don't play tds either i play really badly this vehicle while it is hard to learn at first especially if you're a standard light tank player is just a blast i mean it is amazing i was able to complete a frontline season with it as my top vehicle highly recommend it. it is amazing active scout its gun is pretty great it's a 90 millimeter that only fires apcr you get two round clips and it's only a 15 second reload time for that entire clip you get the new auto aim feature for this which is an adjusted auto aim instead of just locking onto center mass of a target and firing it will try and help the shell hit not center mass but hit more penetrating shots as you're moving it's it's weird the way they balance it is it's not a normal auto aim and it also auto locks on to targets so you don't always have to click lock on if you get close enough to a target if you're going over a certain amount of speed it'll do it already just so that way you can aim while moving at the top speed of over 90 kilometers an hour it's pretty crazy it's pretty fast so highly recommend this vehicle. I hope you guys pick one up if you don't already own it. And yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys at 11 p.m. tonight to cover the next vehicle. Hopefully it'll be something more interesting and not another skin. <laughs> oh, last night was just weird. I'm hoping we just get tanks from here on out and no more gimmicky 3D styles or orders or premium currency type stuff like buying boosters i really hope boosters don't show up in this event uh but we'll see right now this is a pretty great vehicle an amazing light tank i hope you guys pick it up if you don't have it as always subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when tonight's video goes up or for any of the content i'll be making next week about the vehicles i get during the black market event starting with the pz58 mutz and just give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the content and as always thank you for that support it's really helping me make these videos and I've had such a blast getting back into World of Tanks the past few days with you guys and just talking about the game. So thank you for that and I will see you next time.